All right, what is up, y'all? It's the Sandman back at it again with yet another one from Allison Chains, live at the Moor. Some really cool footage, black and white, gives it a really cool vibe. Uh, very gritty uh, sound. The first two songs, Man in the Box and Real Thing, were phenomenal performances. I already react to Love, Hate, Love, so check that out on the channel as well. I know that's the third song on the list. And now we're on to... Wait, what are we on to? Sea of Sorrow. Yes, from Facelift. I just blanked out for a second. I have heard this one, not this performance though, and it's not one of the more it's not one of the ones I'm more familiar with, so uh I can't wait. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, right away, you got to be in the zone right now. Right away, that is a sick intro. It's very, very moody, and like it's, you can tell the atmosphere is about to kick in. It's about to be crazy. Simple and effective. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to rewind in a bit, but it's just such a vibe. This one is like a, this is such a vibe because it's mainly just a two chord pattern, but it's just, it's just so badass. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's killer. It's a really killer tune. Um, and yeah, his voice is sustained, is a lot, a lot of sustain and richness here than what now I'm just realizing how rich of a voice he has because he's not really extending it past his like mixed range he's staying in head voice but it's just really clean full sound right with the wave and sort of the wave of instrumentation around it it's just a perfect blend that's the best way to describe it um, yeah really nice song just letting the chords ring out, it's just such a cool vibe. Alright, let's go right here. Crazy. Look at the rasp. The best distortion. One of the coolest sounding distorted vo voices you'll ever get. Ever. He just had a, a natural sound like for this genre. It is the perfect voice for this genre. It's insane. <laughs> Look at that. 
hits it perfectly. A lot of strength. That was a cool blues. Ready for this next verse, I'm so excited. Listen to that, the groove just ring out at the end of this, but listen to that drum fill right at the end. And my ringtone just went off for a second. I'm look, I got the words in front of me, so uh, ended that real quick. But let's go. <laughs> Listen to that little that little shuffle lick that that he did right here. I don't remember that. I don't remember I him ever hearing him play something that sounds quite like what he just did right there. That was oh. killer one. Listen to that, descend. Listen to him descend right there. I can't wait to do that one. I can't wait to do that one. But um, this is a this is a badass song for sure. The lyrics are sick. I really love this these lyrics. I love that line. You open fire a lot. Um, 
Yeah, I let's talk about one of my favorite parts about the vocals. Vocals at the end of each line, he which is with the tonality of his voice, the kind of warped sound that he gets, like the marbles in your mouth kind of effect. Um, the, that kind of thing at the end of each line. The vibrato on his voice is insane. He finishes his lines off really nicely in the song. Um, just go, like my favorite, you can tell it all just hit how good this track was going to be right when he entered, the first, right when he started singing. So that's where I'm going to go first. Let's just hear the intro too. Anticipation right here. how he finishes the line. I mean, you guys know what I mean, all right? You guys know what I mean. That was insane uh, to hear to start to hear him start that second verse, especially. Um, and obviously, you open fire. He has he goes off in that chorus. Some cool little key change uh, right in the chorus too. A lot of tasty additions. Arrangement wise, this is very. This is probably one of the best songs I've heard them arrange. Simple and effective. Simple and effective. That's really all it takes. Um, killer sound just one guitar sounds like just a wave of sound it's just an or it's like i don't know it just it's just all around you you know and the great quality on the on this on the sound here from my end especially um so shout out to this this whoever put this up and got the footage and whatnot it sounds great um yeah, that blues shuffle after the chorus is pretty cool. I think they just may have just been like, yo, let's just throw it in there for fun. Why not take it out of it? It's, like, it's another variety to it, but it's 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 good. Uh, and then bam. It's kind of like two choruses. The pre-chorus, the You Open Fire, and then the I Live Tomorrow, You All Not Follow that part. So it's it's kind of like two choruses in a way. And that that shuffle is a, it's a really cool, unique way to separate them. Um but yeah, there's a cool key change in the in the chorus, and they change the chorus again in the last chorus. Um, I think they drop it down again, but yeah, so they, they change things subtly for like different effect and different moods, um, but it all blends in well. You know, it's not, it just doesn't sound off. It all flows perfectly. Uh, and you guys can obviously hear it too, but yeah, the verse is just a two chord groove, let the chords ring out and everything. Jerry does not make mistakes. He, you, nothing. I did not hear a single errant whatever. Like it's not the most complicated stuff, but it's on point and it's got a great, he has a great taste for, I guess, arrange, arranging his parts and just timing, right? Timing and touch and feel. Um, so a good per player to learn from in terms of like keeping your rhythm, um, picking technique even. I'm sure he's just like, Whatever he's got going on, the habits that he has is ingrained really nicely, um, for sure. Yeah, so a thick bass too really helps get the punch and the adds just to the the wave of sound throughout. It's just a cool. It's like a. It's just like an anthem, like a soundtrack kind of, you know. Um, and the voice is just another instrument, right? It's a rich, full tone. Um, flows right in when the music ascends especially in the uh um you the final you open fire i'll just go to, to that point i mean look at that here's like one of the key changes in the
See, so it's a different vibe. They use different chords, and it just sounds um, like a whole new section. And it's kind of makes sense with the song, because like the the verses are kind of um, reflecting on what's happening in his state of mind right now, um, and his commentary. And then, bam! You open fire is kind of a reminder of that interaction with this person, like how like this specific interaction. Um, and then that's kind of like the tipping point, right? For this guy's uh, kind of declaration of I live tomorrow, and then you all not follow, whatever. Um, that's a really cool line. Aim my smiling skull at you. That's a cool line. That was a cool line. Um, so I don't know if you open fire is like some type of aggression that someone else has put on him or some kind of... Um, mark that someone's tried to put on him or ch for him to change his ways and your mark was true meaning they affected him and then you aim my smiling skull at you so that means you're like kind of going insane you're like a crazy person right smiling skull there's no real identity it's just it's just bones right it's just a cool image a really cool song I gotta look at more into what it specifically means but um, yeah just a Yeah, man, this is a great song. This is a fan. This is probably my favorite of the whole concert thus far. Live at the more, I think Sea of Sorrow is my favorite. I'm blown away. It, it was, yeah, it's had everything. Amazing solo and that cool little uh, lick that I I never heard him play a, a kind of lick like that or put my finger on him playing something like that before. Amazing voice, lower. A new mood, a new vibe with his with his vocals in this one. Such a killer, you know, verse. Um, just an infectious jam going on. It's just a jam, uh, and it's amazing right in the verse. And then some great changes and and story behind the song. The the arrangement, I would say, is phenomenal. I really liked it. So, a masterclass off their debut too. It's insane. Um, yeah, that's my favorite from the, from Live at the Moor so far, but there's still more to go. Um, but yeah, amazing. The Sandman checking out. Peace.